With the top plate on, we're gonna go into beta flight now and set everything up. So when you get into beta flight, just make sure you're running the latest configurator. The first thing I did was flash the latest firmware. The target is T-Motor F7 STM32 F7 X2. On the setup tab, you can calibrate your accelerometer if you use one. I have my accelerometer turned off. When you get down into the ports tab, and remember I have the UART1 set up for my VTX, Walksnail VTX. And on the UART4, remember we soldered the RP1 onto the UART4. So we select Serial RX on UART4. Now we go on to the configuration tab. I haven't touched anything here. I haven't touched anything in the configuration tab besides what you want the beeper to do. Buzzer. This is all personal preference. In the power and battery tab, we're gonna set up the scale so that everything is reading correct in your OSD. I had to adjust my scale to 111. You just double check that the voltage stated in your beta flight is the same voltage that you have on your multimeter. And fail safe tab, have it set to drop. The presets I used, I'm gonna fly 500 hertz. PIDs on the PID tuning page, I left everything stock. I haven't touched anything, filters. Stock, I haven't touched anything. Rates are personal. Some quads have high moment of inertia and rotate a lot faster than others. Some gimbals are bigger than others. Some sticks are longer than others. So rates are completely subjective. In the receiver tab, everything will already be set up when you selected the 500 hertz ELRS in the presets. Double check that everything is responding correctly. Your roll, pitch, your throttle, and your aux switches are showing up in beta flight. On the mode tab, basic setup, arm, beeper, and turtle mode, flip over after crash. On the motors tab, I used props out. So I have my motor direction reversed, selected bi-directional D-shot, running D-shot 600, left everything else as is. I like to keep a clean OSD. I don't even use RSSI anymore. With ELRS, I've never failed safe. And for freestyle quads, I don't fly that far away from myself anyway, so I have a self-powered beeper. One last thing, in the CLI tab, I have easy landing setup. I have easy landing setup on all my quads. It makes taking off and landing so much easier without having to remember to switch air mode on or air mode off. It does it automatically. So, easy landing turned on. If you don't like it and you want to revert, you can go back to legacy. Right, so out here at the field, I'm gonna stick these Gemfan Hurricane Durable props on the MEP squad. These are the Gemfan 51433 DP props. I'm gonna use the Commando 8 and my Sky Zone with my Walksdale VRX. I'm just gonna go out onto the field, take a little rip around. I'm gonna do some basic flips and rolls to see how the quad feels. <laughs> 